Hello, Rachel. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi Hi there. <laughs> I'm with uh, Rachel Andrews, a physiotherapist from Derriford Hospital. Uh, Rachel, what on earth are you doing in the back of a Moby Nix van in the middle of Plymouth City Centre? I'm acclimatising. Um, I'm, um, I'm doing a race in the South Pole in December and uh, Moby Nix uh, has very kindly lent me his freezer van to do a bit of acclimatising. I've been reliably informed it will get down to minus 25, it's more, more like about minus 10 at the moment and um, just sort of testing out gear and practicing taking on and off gloves and, and that kind of thing and just get me used to the really cold. Okay, so tell me about this challenge to the South Pole then. Um, I'm doing a race to the South Pole uh, on the 15th of December and it's, uh, it's just something I've wanted to do ever since I read about Scott and Shackleton. Um, and uh, I'm trying to raise a bit of money for charity on the way, which is partly what this event is about, the Amber Trust, which is a um, charity for music for blind children, so producing music in the form of scholarships, teaching, um, instruments and that kind of thing. And it appealed to me because I heard it about on the radio. I did a race in the North Pole, North Magnetic Pole in 2005. And um, music is just sort of instrumental in getting you there because um, you have an awful lot of time just skiing on your own, hours and hours and hours of looking at nothing. And music makes it doable, so hence the Amber Trust. And I've got quite a lot of the children have chosen music for me to listen to. And we're going to get it on an iPod and I will have thoughts of them when I'm skiing. So I guess as much as a physical challenge, this is a real mental challenge as well. Yeah, I mean, Tony, who sort of has set this whole thing up, says it's about 70% mental, and I don't think there's any question of that, really, because the thing that I find most daunting is, um, is we're going to have 30 days of racing and there will just be nothing to look at, and you are on your own because you have your hood and your goggles up, you've got the wind in your face all the time, so you really have nothing to occupy your mind, and that's the biggest challenge of all. Um, physically it's very hard but me mentally it, I think is the really hard bit and I've never done anything like this. So what do, you, what do your friends and family make of this, this whole idea then? Um, they probably think it's sort of par for the course. Um, my mum and dad are scared about it. I mean, you know, because it, it is a dodgy and dangerous environment but um, I think they're quite pleased and they, I mean, they've said they, they, they kind of hate the fact that I have to do these things, but they wouldn't stop me because that's just what, what I'm, that's me. So they're pleased and I, and I suppose they're quite proud of the idea, but yeah, more worried than anything. Probably wish I wasn't going, probably wish I wasn't going to be away for Christmas sitting in a tent somewhere. <laughs> Uh, you've, you've had a blog on our website for some time, which has been quite popular. Yeah. Um, I've read about you pulling tyres. What's all that about? Yeah, part of the training is pulling tyres because it's the only way really I can replicate that action. And it's a very, it's a specific action of, of being sort of bent forwards and, and, and using your arms. So I try and get out with the sticks and actually push with my arms because really in the end, it, it, uh, well, it strengthens your back up and it's quite difficult. You can't really replicate a long walk pulling a sled in any other way so tyres are a very good way they probably are heavier in some ways pulling a sled on the flat even though it's about 200 pounds um, is not too bad but we are going to be going from approximately sea level to 3,000 meters uh, that's our walk-in that's the first 10 days so that's 9,000 feet because the you know the, the things um, the south pole's on a plateau and so we are pulling uphill and that's hard work so how much money are you hoping to raise today with the Amber Trust? Oh gosh, thousands. But I mean, as much as we can take into account the weather and people's you know, financial situation and that kind of thing, but as much as possible. So I have to ask, what would you be doing on Christmas Day? Um, I bought myself some tiny, tiny little Christmas decorations. And uh, I hope my teammates aren't listening to this. I'm going to go and wrap some really, really small presents, but edible presents, because we, you, know, you don't want to be carrying any extra weight. So I've got these tiny weightless um, decorations and I'll wrap some little presents for the boys and oh and listen to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star which Verity is one of her um, tunes that she chose and uh, a few Christmas carols I want to have on my iPod <laughs> and sing a lot. So this van we're standing in front of uh, are you going to be in and out of that all day? Yes I'm here until four o'clock I'm, I'm, 
um, you have to sort of stay in there or stay out and keep the door closed to try and get it really cold and I just will be in and out of it mucking around taking gear on and off trying to do sort of manipulative things with my hands and that kind of thing. Okay Rachel well uh, good luck with your challenge Thank and you we'll much. catch up with you when you come back. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers.